Hi. So far, I hope that you all will be done with the environment setup of Angular 2. So now it's time to get started with the practical implementation of Angular. So let's get started with the first example where we'll try to make the modifications in our component and we'll see how that will be reflected over the browser. So let's get started with the basic implementation of Angular 2. So as we have already seen this environment setup earlier, so let's see what is there inside this SRC folder. So basically all the required files such as the index.html or any of the component file as we know everything here is a component so everything is already there so let me open this app module.ts that is the typescript file and app component.ts so here what actually you can see is app component is actually a basic component in which there is a tag called my app all right and here at the top you can observe like there is a component which is already included and it is included from angular core so let's see where will i find this angular core first of all so for that we will have to come to the root directory inside node modules and here you can see angular at the rate angular all right and inside that you will find core so inside this only you will be able to get the root component of the angular application and after that you can create your own components like the first one which is here is called the app component and as here you can see it is created as a class and it is using export keyword as well so that if in future it's required I can export this component for some other component as well as just now I'm importing this one so definitely when this component is installed it is created it would be created with the export keyword only then I will be able to import it now after that what I will do is as here you can see there is an app component inside which basically I just created one property that is name and this is of string type so uh, let me just add one more thing since it is TypeScript and it should be type safe enough so I will just pass the data type that is string and then I will pass this angular that basically this is the pre-written text from the template so for this app component there is some attribute with the add component all right and it will take a number of components inside so basically only two is here so far there will be a list but we will discuss about the other component attributes later here we have just a couple of one like that is the selector and template so selector is basically the name of the element that is the HTML tag which you want to use for putting this particular component over the web browser and when you will use this particular tag that is my app what it should do it will put this particular template it will render this particular template over the browser so what it will do it will use h1 that is the heading hello and name so here you can see the value of name is angular you can change it to any particular value of your choice all right this is how we create one component or as many as component I want but later what I will have to do I'll have to register each and every component with my app module.ts and here you can see in this particular file I'm using some ng module and browser module which we will discuss about later but later in this as an attribute what we are doing we are using declarations all right in declarations I am passing the name of this component that is app component and in bootstrap I am again passing app component so basically in bootstrap you will pass only that component name from which you want to start the application but if in some other application you will use multiple components you will pass them right here just by putting a comma so for now I just have one component so I can be continue with this current setting Make sure I haven't made any changes just I have changed this name and let's come to the application again and here I will get the index.html in my root folder so here 
inside root you will get src and inside src you will get index.html so just double click over it and as you can see it will not you will not be able to see anything so basically i'm not uh, trying to execute that i just want to show you the text inside this file so here you can see uh, there are a lot of stuff there's a lot of uh, script thing which is added by default but my main concern is here about the body so here you can see my app is the tag which is placed right here so from where this my app tag is coming from this app component dot as here i have set it as a selector all right so this selector is passed here as the tag name and by the time this template will replace that particular selector this text loading app component content here will be shown but the question comes how will i execute this particular program so for that i'll make it quite simple let's come to the command prompt with which i was working in my previous video and here i will write npm start so as here you can see i have already done all the installation regarding this application and to start the execution to start this server for this particular application i will write npm start so by default it takes the port 3000 for this application so let me press enter and here you can see it is following a couple of steps and once all the things are done it will just open a new window of browser to execute your program and here you can see loading app component content here was coming and then hello tutorials point all right so this is how it will work so as i said like by the time this template will replace the selector this text will be shown which was put right there inside this tag all right so let me just replace that with the loading only and now when i'll refresh you can see only loading is there all right and the important thing which is there is it keeps on checking for a change so by the time there will be any change in your application that will automatically be re reflected in the output browser window so let me do one thing like here it is already my app all right after that i will just put one h2 tag and will put anything like simply easy learning all right and as soon as i will save the changes you can see this text is already there i don't have to do anything all right it will just take it similarly if i will just remove the space between tutorials and point i'll save it and again the changes will get reflected here as soon as it will check it and you can see it is again saying loading and now it's the space gone all right so this is the easiest way of getting started with the angular applications so once you have done with the successful environment setup you just have to say npm start in the command prompt and it will execute the default application and later you can make the minor changes and in the coming video definitely we are going to do many more